All right, welcome back. So um, we're glad you guys are here for another uh, session of Marriage Matters. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass it to you to begin to share your thoughts and unpack for us when it comes to this issue of love. Yeah, uh, love is a, is a very, very big topic. One of the, the biggest ingredients uh, for the foundation in a marriage is love. Mm. Without love, there's mm. almost a, it's almost impossible to have a marriage without love. Mm. I would like to say interestingly that the love is required from the manufacturer, but it is required from the male. He requires the male mm. to love the female. That's right. And the female is not required to love the male. Mm. The female is required to honor the male, to respect mm -hmm. the male. Mm -hmm. So there are two different functions. It doesn't mean that a male cannot respect the female. Right. And the female cannot love the male. It's just that mm -hmm. your responsibility as a male is to love and your responsibility in the marriage as a female is to respect. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to love, I, I would like to begin by saying what love is not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can define what something is by removing all what the it's extent. not. Yes, removing what it's not. Right. So I want to say that love is not like. Mm. And many times in mm. the world today, we, we have an issue where we mix the meaning of like and the meaning of love. Mm. Many times we don't even know what love means. Mm. But we mm -hmm. think that love is like. And there's a place for liking. Mm -hmm. I like to ask people this question and I, I would say, well, what type of food do you love? You know, so let me ask you, uh, what type of food do you love? Man, I, I, man, it's a strong word, love, but I, 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 I love rice and beans. <laughs> love rice and beans, but the meat, what type of meat do you, are you vegetarian? Oh, no, I'm not a vegetarian, sir. I, uh, I like myself meat. You know, I eat so much chicken. I have to think that I love chicken. <laughs> so you have to think you love chicken. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I would ask people that question and they would give me a meat. And mm -hmm. they would tell me how much they love this meat, unless they're vegetarian, of course. Yeah. And then I would say to them, you don't love chicken. Mm -hmm. Because if you love chicken, the chicken would still be alive. You see? <laughs> so what what we are saying is we love how that food tastes going down or, or, or you know, mm -hmm. our digestive tract. Mm -hmm. we, we love that. But we it's not that we love chicken. We like how chicken tastes a lot. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing to understand is that love is not like most of these songs that are being written, most mm. of the languages that is being uh, spoken, between a man and a woman, in, in movies, and they are talking about like, not love. Mm. And there's a big difference. Even within like, there are different levels of like. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I can like somebody as a friend. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. to be around somebody. So, you know, we might like the same thing, football, basketball, music, uh, video games. Mm -hmm. So we like to be around each other, meaning we enjoy mm -hmm. being around. That is like, that is not love. And so that is where friendships are formed because you like something about the other person or you like mm -hmm. something that they like. It. You have something in common. Mm -hmm. um, that is a lower level of liking. And then mm -hmm. there's a higher level of liking where you now we like to see how somebody looks. Mm -hmm. And it begins to become a romantic like. Right. That romantic like is what everybody mistakes. Uh, everybody mistakes this romantic like for love. Mm. And that is not love. Mm -hmm. And love is mm. required to be to be what they are calling in the, what we call in the last video, a real man. Mm. Is somebody that understands what love is 
and understand yeah. how to love. Right. So that is where I wanted to start off um, mm -hmm. distinguishing what love is not. It is not like. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I like I like that because I think it is important for for us um, to understand that love actually it encompasses emotion, but it tran I think it transcends just the emotion. Um, when I when I from what I hear you're saying, it 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 it's something beyond just your emotion. Um, it's 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 close. It's close right. that. It's close that it it when you say it 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 goes beyond emotion, but it includes emotion. Um, love actually puts aside emotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the the love that mm -hmm. includes emotion. You see, in English, when we say we love somebody, mm -hmm. we only have one word for love. Right. So we use it in everything. Mm -hmm. everybody loves everybody everybody loves everything love food love this love moving love that and it's one when we say love we are we are confused in our mind because the only love we understand is the love that is emotional that mm -hmm. includes emotions mm -hmm. but this love it not only transcends emotion but it almost does not it doesn't need emotion mm -hmm. for example our manufacturer will tell us love your enemies mm -hmm. No, if the manufacturer told us to like our enemies, that would be much harder to do because mm -hmm. like it's a feeling that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. But to mm -hmm. love your enemy is not hard because right. you know it, it's a that's a different thing than liking them. I yeah. don't have to ask you to love you. Yeah. Yeah. So love, let's let's love is past feeling. <laughs> We're past feeling. Yeah, it's past, and and I and I and I, I I like that, and I think that is very very, um. It's very important to distinguish because I think, the 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 human and the world's understanding of love is very conditional, actually, very yeah. very very conditional. But the the love that, um, as you would say, the manufacturer, and the manufacturer's manual, um, calls us to is is a unconditional love it's a it's a it's a love that stands firm under many conditions or under every condition versus this conditional love yeah um un unconditional love it, it bears up under any condition <laughs> Uh, and I, I think, uh, yeah, I think we could, we could, we could take that one for something, right? This, this love that we're that 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 we're defining uh, uh, in this session bears up, stands firm under any condition. But the 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 world's love seems to only activate or sustain in the right condition. <laughs> right, and, um, and, and, yeah. and I like that very much. I would just want to say that in English we have to like use multiple words to define the love mm -hmm. so for example when you say love is this then remember there we have four or five different types of love some people say mm -hmm. we have up to seven mm -hmm. so when you say the world's love then we are talking about love that is eros um when we when we speak of it from the the hebrew and the greek we're talking about mm -hmm. eros mm -hmm. or we're talking about um it's a a hub Mm -hmm. That's one of the words for love. I have, mm -hmm. and we have filial, filial friendly have love, agape. yeah, agape, and those are four different types of love. So again, if we say it in English, and uh, we just say love is this, but then the world's love is that, then there's a, uh, it's still like in English we still have to add words to it. So mm -hmm. we have to say mm -hmm. eros type of love is this and. Uh, mm -hmm. Filial type of love is this, and agape type mm -hmm. of love is this, because mm -hmm. in English it's confusing when we just see love, right? And everybody right. uses that word, and it's 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 confusing. So mm -hmm. if a young if a young man tells a young lady that is a young man that is fifteen years old tells a young lady I love you, mm -hmm. then a young lady asks love what what kind of love are you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. you love me. What kind of love are you talking about? Because you have mm -hmm. the love that sacrifice, and I guess mm -hmm. we get into that. You have mm -hmm. the love that, that the love that is just a feeling. 
Mm-hmm. The same love you have for a chicken going down your throat mm-hmm. or a, a, a nice juicy piece of lamb going down your throat. Mm-hmm. Um, that same love is, is like, and is that what you have for me? Because mm-hmm. what happens when I don't taste good again? You're going to spit me out. Mm. You know? So Yeah. And that 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 love still has a very selfish aspect to it because I'm only it it it's it I'm it's 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 only if it benefits me it sounds like you know yeah um and and that's the thing but I have a I have a question now um if I could throw at you and for us to dialogue over um what 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 percent of words. Uh, versus actions uh, i'm trying to word this as clearly as possible when it comes to the love we're defining tonight uh, how much how much percent of that love requires words and how much percent of that love requires action is a best better way for me to ask the question that's a very very uh <laughs> like strong but intelligent well-placed question so you have me kind of, of, of trying to catch my, my um, um, I, I like to cast some questions, trick questions, no? Oh, okay, um, okay. You're, you're putting so, this one in a trick question? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Honest, I use three, three words to describe love. Okay. And none of them has to do with words. Mm, okay. But the words we use actually is a way to love someone right i like that can explain that by the by the words we use that's um, good but it's not it's not the main it's not one of the big hitters when it comes to love we, we have at least i keep in front of me three big hitters when i talk about love and i'm mm. talking about unconditional love here mm-hmm. because the manufacturer when he tells us to love when he tells men to love their wives, he is talking specifically about unconditional love. In, mm-hmm. in the Hebrew, it is agapa, agapao. I think in Greek, mm-hmm. it is agape, but it's, it's the same unconditional love. Mm-hmm. The same love that he uses when he, when he tells us to, when the manufacturer says, love your neighbor, that is the same love, the same unconditional love. So the, mm-hmm. the, the, the little love that is a feeling, it's, as you um, hinted to earlier, it's kind of wishy-washy. It's weak. It's mm-hmm. selfish. It depends on how I feel, on my emotions. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mm-hmm. feel this. Mm-hmm. And when I feel that way, I'm willing to catch a grenade for you. Mm-hmm. When I don't feel that way, I'll let you catch that grenade. I'll, I'll get the grenade and give you the grenade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But not in the mood to catch any grenades today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely not. yeah yeah for sure yeah and i i i asked the question because um i i i think unconditional love is is proven and validated more by actions um personally and and yes um i think affirmation encouragement all these things um, I think are a part of that, but um, again, as the manufacturer tells us, as you say, let let us love in word and in deed, right? Yeah. Um, um, let's not let's not love, um, let's not love with hypocrisy. Or let let love be without hypocrisy, and that tells me when I read that text that I can love uh, with pretense. I I can love pretentiously. Yeah. And 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 so the head, that that that's so that, that that's why I was asking that question because I, I I wanted us to understand that this unconditional love, um, it is one that is proven and validated by action, by right. action, more more than yeah. Mm-hmm. Words are important. Yes. And because uh, the way uh, uh the female species is created and designed mm-hmm. words mm-hmm. Uh, play a very heavy role in their lives mm-hmm. but anybody you can love them with words 
mm-hmm. by speaking to them who they are. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can tell them how you feel about them, but when you speak to them about who they are, their strengths, uh, their abilities, their potential, you're actually loving that person when you speak to that person mm-hmm. who they are, even if they are not there yet. That means it's a potential in them, and you see mm. it. Mm. You can love them by speaking to them. I like that. But if you tell somebody, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'll take a bullet to my brain, catch a grenade, I'll go over the moon for you," those are promises. That's not love. Right. And anybody can make promises. Mm-hmm. Uh, even a parrot can make you promises. Yeah, and 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 that's a, that's a deceptive part about the, the the this this conditional emotional love because um men are our our emotions are can be super deceptive. Um yeah. it, it's often influenced by external if not all the time, ex in influenced by external things. So when when this unconditional love remains steady, it remains sure, it remains stable. Um, through the different circumstances. It's not so much um, affected by external circumstances like this conditional love. This conditional love, again, it, it's, it's affected by the conditions, right? So that's, right. that's the thing because I could, I, could, I could feel this way today that, yes, I'll catch this grenade. I'll, I'll get water from the moon today. But yep. uh, three days from now, I don't even want to see you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, that's how unstable. Uh, we're, not, we're not saying that our emotions aren't a good thing. We're not saying that it's not a part of how we are. But we're just saying it's not the, it's not the part of us that we should be uh, making decisions by and making commitments by. Because right. it, 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 it wavers, yeah. I really love that. I, I, um, the advice, that's a very, very, very solid advice that you just spoke there for women. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I, even in the books that I've written, I try to speak to women sometimes and speak to men sometimes. Mm-hmm. Because as men, we are not trained how to be good husbands because half of the time our fathers are not even around and nobody trained them how to be mm-hmm. good husbands, how to be real husbands since that's the term we're using. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody has trained them how to be real husbands. I have mm. not been trained. I don't mm. know if you have been trained. And when I say have been trained, I mean by your father, uh, mm. by other males in your life, trained how to be a husband and how to be a man. Mm-hmm. But train how to be a husband. This is how you take care of a wife. This is how you function with a wife. Mm-hmm. This is the way you should think. This is mm-hmm. your responsibility as a husband. Um, mm-hmm. I did not get any training on that. And mm-hmm. I had solid men around me. Like really solid men. Um, you know, now and again, you get a little piece here, a little piece mm-hmm. there. But not solid. Mm-hmm. Not solid mm-hmm. enough, not material enough to for you to to sustain a long lasting marriage. So I enjoy that you said that now. For women, the purpose for dating should mm. not be for you to satisfy a feeling. Mm. Women, the purpose for dating mm-hmm. is for you to investigate a man. Mm. You shouldn't be in love, even in a marriage. The manufacturer doesn't require for you to be in love. Mm-hmm. So your responsibility during dating is not to be rubbed on, touched and feel like a mango to see if it's good. Mm-hmm. You know, a mango is a fruit that, that, that it gets soft when it ripens and, mm-hmm. and people might go and touch it to see if it's good. That's not mm-hmm. the role for dating. The role in mm-hmm. dating is for you to evaluate, to inspect, to investigate this man to see if he understands what unconditional love is if he's capable of loving you unconditionally. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I like the statement that you made earlier because it's a very good advice to give women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and <clears throat> I think it's super important also for us as men and for men to, 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 to get a hold of this unconditional love in your own life, in our own life. Yeah. Um, and it's not to say that 
we can master love this unconditional it's 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 man it is it is i like to tell people that when it comes to this love of it's 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 not it cannot be fully explained or expressed but it can be experienced yeah you know um for me to take out a for me to take out a, a whiteboard like how a, a math genius can break down a, a calculus or a algebra from the left to the right of that board and give you everything to, to do that with with this unconditional love i think it's it's super important for for us for 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 men to to get a hold of this love because um for example when 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 we think about what 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 the um the, the lady said in the video in the first session that if if a, a a real man will not allow a woman to push him over if a real man understands real love um let me i, I want to make sure i'm very careful what i'm saying and i think one of the ways i can ex experience is just one of the ways that has helped me that love love is patient but love is not passive yeah. right and and a, 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 we're not called to be passive as husbands and men uh, but but we are called to be patient because this unconditional love one of its virtue one of its attributes is patience and um i think we, again so so passive to be passive is to is just to stand by without uh, without action i'm just standing by with the status quo uh, I'm, I'm not challenging anything. I'm not trying. I'm not, you know, that's being passive. And, and I'm telling you, one of the things that challenges and cripples men is is being passive, right? But, but this, uh, this un so let's not make a mistake. Unconditional love is not to be passive, but it is to be patient. And, and to be patient is to, is for me to, undergo difficulties sometimes or challenges especially um and, and and so with patience it is because i am i am encouraging i'm giving advice i'm providing lead i am actually applying actions to try to move things in the right direction but i am patient right. I, I i can remain calm and cool even when the results are not happening when and how i want and I'm, I'm and I'm only I'm only picking off one aspect of how practical it is for men to lay hold of this unconditional love, not to be mistaken with being passive, but but it is a challenge and a call to be patient because this unconditional real love is patient and thereby a real man a real husband um, should be expressing and exercising patience towards his wife towards his wife and family yeah that's right that's right that's that's very good where where um, i would like to actually give the, the the three words for me that define love mm -hmm. sure um we might not be able to get into the three of them so but at least i can show them out there um, yes yes i also want to say that when it when when in the video the lady says that the man will not tolerate your behavior, your mm -hmm. nonsense. Mm -hmm. You know, it mm. is believed that women like to bring nonsense to men. Mm. And a real man will not tolerate it. Mm. And we've touched mm. on this last week a bit. But a woman is your mirror. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned somewhere in the, man, in the manual where it says the woman is a man's glory. Yes. And so if the woman is your mirror and the woman is complaining, then a mirror doesn't complain. A mirror simply reflects what mm -hmm. is in front of it. Mm -hmm. So if your woman is complaining, mm -hmm. it's not that you have to learn to be patient. Mm. Because being patient is not going to solve the reason she's complaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, being patient mm -hmm. is important it's one of the things that define the unconditional love that we're talking about right but, but being patient is not the only word that defines that's that right that's right and, and so if your lady is complaining the question is what is she complaining about mm. so when i'm meeting with someone to do marital uh 
I call it coaching, marital coaching, and they're mm -hmm. in trouble. My thing is to find out from the mirror what is in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. Maybe a technological mirror can lie, mm -hmm. but it's very rare when a mirror lies to you. Mm -hmm. A mirror tells you the truth. Mm -hmm. So it's very rare. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying a, a lady cannot lie, but I'm just yeah. saying that she mirrors her husband. So whatsoever she mirrors, if she's unhappy, that man needs to find out what he is doing that is out of the way. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah uh, before you get into the three words, just on that point, which is which I I I I think we I definitely need to highlight that point that um this this is quite quite uh, a discipline i'm going to use the word discipline um or can i use the word muscle that a real man must be exercising um everybody in general needs to be exercising reflection because yeah. after 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 so 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 the man the man the manual paints the the uh, uh, uh the glorious picture of marriage before the fall and then and then we get the, the contrast in in the in the third chapter um of genesis of the of, of, of the marriage after it's fallen and yeah. one of the first things we see is is man not taking responsibility for what went wrong yeah and so i like what you said because the, the my flesh my human nature that part will always want to deflect versus yeah. versus reflect and so uh yeah. I, like, I like what you said we, we want to say well how, how can i take the fault for her behavior but but understand you're one and one of the things i've been finding out is um I, I call it the principle of connection. I, I, I use it sometimes when I'm counseling, um, especially when I'm counseling people with substance abuse. I like to tell them that what you do will affect those around you. The, the choices you make has, has uh, bearing and consequences on the people around you, right. whether those are good choices or bad choices. I call it the principle of connection. And so I, I just wanted to highlight yeah. Um, that you said that 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 I I the, what I do the way I react the things that it 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 has an effect on 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 our wives on my wife and so very 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 solid point that I just needed to I needed to hammer on that <laughs> a little bit yeah the main paragraph in the manufacturer manual that I use is from Genesis mm -hmm. that speaks about marriage just like the the big motto for marriage that is where almost every single idea on marriage that I have comes from. Mm -hmm. So hopefully mm -hmm. we, we can um, jump into that in a, a future session, no? Yeah. So I want to give you space as I, I, I sense we're beginning to uh, come down. What are these three words just so we can get them? The first word that describes love is sacrifice. Mm hmm so when somebody wants to love anybody, they are saying, I am willing to sacrifice for you. Hmm. Now, what are you willing to sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Some men are so within themselves selfish hmm. that they take you out for lunch. You better pay half. <laughs> no? If yeah. they have this, this is their house, this is their car, you will have to get your own. Don't ask me for anything. That is not sacrifice. I like that. And so when a woman is going after a man, she has to ask herself, what does he understand as love? The first love is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. First word that describes love. The second word that describes love is giving. Mm. And you alluded to it earlier in that you can't say you love mm -hmm. and you don't give. Mm -hmm. Next word for love is choosing. Mm. You can't say you love, but you don't choose. So I love my wife, but yet I go and I find another young lady out there and I choose mm -hmm. her and not my wife. 
but it's my mm. wife but i choose another mm. lady one mm. part of that is love when you love you choose mm -hmm. your choice tells me what you love mm -hmm. yeah so That's those good. are the three words sacrifice giving and choosing and i would just like to say in the manual and I, or i should say in the constitution no? genesis chapter 22 subsection we have to say it as it's a um, law manual because it is law this is the law <laughs> i like that if you want to live in this country this is the law that you will have to follow but even so if you want to have the best marriage then this is the law that you want to follow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it says the manufacturer gives us a story where this ballet, this man, this gentleman, he, he wanted a son. He's 90 years old and could not have a son. Finally, he got a son and he loved this son. And so the first time love is mentioned in the manufacturer's manual is here. So the manufacturer is telling Abraham, take your son, the one that you love, mm -hmm. that you have deep affection for. Mm -hmm. You enjoy playing ball with him. You, you spoil him, you are protecting him. You take that son that you love and sacrifice him. Mm. So he's moving him from love, where is affection for his son, to mm. love where it's unconditional and he's sacrificing mm. for the manufacturer. And mm. you can go all over the place. For example, mm -hmm. everybody knows this, this Bible verse. That says, for God so loved the world. Yeah, yeah, that mm. sounds good. But he loved, so what did he do? He gave. Mm. So here we have giving. Mm -hmm. He loved, so he gave his son. Mm. And his son had to die. Mm. So sacrifice comes up again. He loved, so he gave. And when you hear these little young men that their mothers are paying for their school fees. Mm. Their mother and father are keeping their paying for their clothes, buying their food. Go to a young lady and tell her, I love you. <laughs> what are they saying? Man, your mother is buying your, your food. Your mother is paying for your school fees. You're, you live in your mother's house. You love She know about love, boy. <laughs> He's not talking about unconditional love. He's talking about this a hug or a head, which mm -hmm. is I have a strong of I like you. There's a difference, big difference. Mm -hmm. My my final thoughts, <clears throat> based on what you said about about the constitution, I think it is important for real husbands, real men, real women, real marriages to understand that when you when you talked about the constitution and the way we live, it's one of the ways that we are distinguished. Um, and people are distinguished with the real love. It it it, it truly, it truly uh, sets you. This unconditional love sets you apart as a real man. Um, yep. it, it it sets you apart as a real woman. It sets you apart as a real as a real marriage. So um, yeah, those are some of my thoughts, man. Uh, it's been super encouraging listening uh, as we, and I'm sure this this love. We'd be, able, we'd be able to scratch the surface, I'm sure. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so what are some of your final thoughts, my brother, as we... It is possible to love unconditionally. Mm -hmm. But it first starts with an understanding. Mm. And if the understanding is not there, then we only have affectionate love. Affectionate mm -hmm. love comes from emotion. Emotions are not stable. Emotions change. They are chemically affected. You might wow. eat something and it hurts your stomach. Now you're upset. Or somebody, <laughs> you know, stops in front of you or park in the middle of the street. And now your emotions, they are affected. You're angry or upset. So you come home now and your emotions, they are not in the right place. All your mm -hmm. adrenaline acids and your whatsoever acids, they are flowing, you're annoyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's emotions are also flowing through that mm -hmm. person. And so you cannot have that love that's included by that that's defined by emotions mm -hmm. functioning as a priority in your marriage in your relationship right it has to be unconditional there are many males who love their mothers more than their wife mm. and if you mm. love your mother more than your wife stay home don't get married 
-hmm. If you're always going to love your mom and she'll be the person you love the most in the whole world, then stay home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't get married. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the manual tells a man mm -hmm. to love his mother. Mm -hmm. It tells you to mm -hmm. honor your parents. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you don't, if you love your wife more than, I mean your mother more than your wife, stay home. Boy. And as we discuss love and look at what it means and the sacrifice, and not necessarily that we are going to call it love or unconditional love, but just des describe what is required from a husband in a mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. we begin to see how these things uh, interpret themselves. Because if you love your mom more than your wife, mm -hmm. if you love your work more than your wife, if you mm -hmm. love your kids more than your wife, then how mm -hmm. can you say you have an unhappy wife and you're upset about it? Mm -hmm. She comes last. Mm -hmm. You reap what you sow, brother. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so unconditional love, that is the... The key word, sacrifice, giving, and choosing. Yeah. No, good, good, good stuff, my brother. Good stuff. Um, so uh thank you guys for taking time to sit, think uh with us. Um, and uh until next time, this has been Marriage Matters. <laughs>